Welcome to a tutorial on the 8085 Logic Instructions Part 2. Okay, so here we're gonna start with the RLC instruction which stands for Rotate Accumulator Bits to the left by one bit position. Okay, and well this doesn't have any kind of operands. Okay, so as you can see over here. Now, let me just tell you what this instruction actually does with an example. Okay, so let's say this is the uh, content, 8-bit data content of the register A. Okay, starting, and now uh, you know that, uh, well, register A is basically an 8-bit register. So you can see that the 8-bit data content in the accumulator is this. Okay, so now whenever you would execute this particular instruction, alright, that's RLC, each of the bits will move to the left. Okay, so this is the left, okay, and this is the right. Alright, so each of these bits will move to the left by one bit position. Okay, so as the arrow marks indicate that bit D0 becomes D1, I mean the bit that's present in the D0 position, that's 0 over here, it would move to the position of bit D1. The bit at the D1 position moves to D2 and then it just move, goes on s this way throughout the entire 8 bits that is contained in the accumulator. But what about the bit D7? When bit D6 actually becomes D7, then the bit D7 is sent back to the bit D0 position. Okay? So if we would... Uh, now, we know that well this is actually the original data content of the accumulator register. Right? Now, once if we'd execute this particular instruction let's say we write here RLC okay once then what will happen let's just check that out okay here we can see our result so after a rotation towards the left by one bit position the new accumulator data content it becomes something like this okay so if we just uh, uh, you know express this data content of the accumulator in uh, hex codes okay then this would be CAH okay so this was the old accumulator content so this was the old uh, content of the accumulator or rather old uh, data byte okay there you go now after executing the RLC instruction once when all the data bytes they just you know shift towards the left by one bit position then the changed data content of the accumulator expressed in hexadecimal code is 95H. So this is the new data byte currently in the accumulator. Okay? Now let me just tell you that when these bits, okay, they, uh, whenever they just move towards the left by one bit position, okay, we know that the bit D7, okay, would become bit D0 in the process. Now when bit D7 goes and occupies the place of bit D0, okay, then at that moment this particular bit being transferred from the D7th position to the D0th position is also recorded by the carry flag. So we can see here that in this particular example the bit D7 is 1, okay, and it goes and occupies the particular bit position of D0. So this particular 1 would also be recorded in the carry flag as well. Alright, so now this particular instruction will transfers bit positions, uh, I mean transfers the bits by one bit position towards the left. Now there's another instruction known as RRC, okay, that shifts these accumulator bits or rotates them towards the right, okay, by one bit position. Okay, so as you can see over here it's written, it just rotates the bits in the accumulator right by one bit position. Alright, so if we would basically take an example once again, let's say the accumulator content was CAH, okay? So let's just take the uh, uh, same data over here. So let's say this was the accumulator data, okay? There you go. So you can see that we have the same hex data in the accumulator with which we just start started the uh, previous example. So now if in this particular data we would apply, I mean if at this particular moment we'd apply the RRC instruction, okay, if we would just you know write here RRC just like that, then the accumulator bits would just shift 
towards the right by one bit position. So d7 becomes d6, d6 becomes d5, d5, d4, d4, d3, and just it goes on in this particular way. And finally, the bit d0, okay, it becomes the bit d7. I mean, the bit present at the d0th position is shifted to the d7th position. Okay? Now, when this change occurs, let's just check what's the new data content in the accumulator. Okay, so now we see that after the execution of the RRC instruction just once, okay, all the data bytes have been shifted towards one position, to, I mean, uh, towards the right by one bit position. And D0, I mean, the bit at the D0th position has now occupied the D7th position. Okay, that's pretty clear. And that's why the new accumulator data after executing the RRC instruction is 65H. So this is our new data byte, okay, currently in the accumulator. Okay, and this was a CAH. This was supposed to be our old data byte with which we just, you know, started the example. Okay, now like the RLC instruction, okay, RRC, in, in the RRC instruction, well, the, uh, you know, the bit at the D zeroth position over here, that is zero, which is uh, transferred to the bit D seventh position is also recorded by the carry flag. So in this case, we see that the bit D zero, okay, is, I mean, uh, the data uh, or the bit at the D zeroth position is zero, okay? And it's being transferred to the D seventh position. So the carry flag over here would be recorded, I mean, would basically be recording the bit that is being transferred, I mean, the value of the bit that is being transferred from the bit D zeroth position to D seventh position. So here, carry flag is just set to the logic zero level, okay? So these instructions, I mean both of them, are just single byte instructions. So you can see that for RRC as well as for RLC. And this is to be kept in mind that except the carry flag, I mean for the RLC instruction, the carry flag bit is changed according to the bit D7, while for the RRC instruction, the carry flag is modified or changed according to the bit D0. But the rest of the flags are not affected by these two instructions. Okay? Now we move on to the instructions 3 and 4, which says, okay, let's just start with instruction 3 first, then we'll catch up with 4. So instruction 3 uh, is known as the RAL, okay? It doesn't have any operands, okay? Now this is also an accumulator bit rotating uh, instruction, okay? As it says, they rotate accumulator left by one bit position via the carry flag. Okay, the main difference between these instructions, and similarly the RAR instruction, uh, as you can see, that's instruction number four, okay? This is uh, just the opposite of what uh, instruction three is. So, as it says, a rotate accumulator right by one bit position via the carry flag. Now, both these instructions, the RAL and the RAR, they rotate the accumulator bits via the carry flag, okay? Now let me give you an example over here. Okay, so now we have uh, an accumulator data byte, okay? And when expressed in terms of hex code, then this data byte would actually uh, can be written as, well, it, it, it could be written as C, okay, 5H. Okay, that's the hex code loaded in the accumulator. Now let's say at this particular moment, let's say the carry flag is zero. Now whenever I write here RAL, now whenever this instruction RAL would be executed once, okay? Now as the name says, rotate accumulator left by one bit position via the carry flag, then what will happen is that the accumulator bits, okay? The corresponding bits in the accumulator that is, they would transfer towards the left by one bit position. So D0 would become D1, D1 becomes D2, D2, D3, D3, D4, and so on. It just keeps on happening, okay? And then bit D7 doesn't go to bit D0, okay? Instead, bit D7 would become, or rather, the bit present at the D7th position would go to the carry flag, and the carry flag data instead 
would be loaded into bit D0 with position. Okay? So that the new accumulator data would look something like this. Okay? As you can see. Now, since the carry flag bit is transferred to the bit D0 with position, so you have a 0 over here in the D0 position. Alright? And since the bit D7 has been transferred to the carry flag, okay, which was 1 actually, so that's why the carry flag is 1 over here. Okay, so now the new da accumulator data data byte is basically 8AH. So this is the new data byte. Okay, while this was the old data byte. Okay, and as you can basically see over here that the carry flag was previously reset and now it has been set. Okay, so this is what happens whenever you execute the RAL instruction. And similarly, if you would execute the RAR instruction, the reverse would basically happen. So if we just take the same example once again, where the data in the accumulator, that's the old data byte, is basically C5H. So this is the old data in the accumulator. Okay, so this is the old data byte. And after you execute the RAR instruction, so whenever you write RAR, and this particular instruction gets executed once, then the accumulator data bytes would just move, I mean data bits would basically move towards the right by one bit position. So D7 would become D6, D6, D5, D5, D4 and so on until all the bits have rotated towards the right by one bit position. And here the bit D0 gets transferred into the carry flag position while the carry flag would get transferred into the bit D7's position. Okay, so that right now and the new accumulator data byte would look something like this, okay, which in expressed in the hex code is termed as 62H. And you can see that since D0, with, I mean at the D0 position, the bit was 1, okay, and that gets transferred into the carry flag's position so that the carry flag right now becomes set, okay, and the carry flag's uh, content that was logic 0 is transferred to the D7's position over here so that the bit D7 is now currently a logic 0. Okay, so this is exactly the reverse of what we saw in the case of the RAL instruction. Now both of these instructions, the RAL and the RAR are single byte instructions, okay, and also the carry flag is the only flag bit that's being affected according to the bit D7 for that of the RAL instruction, okay, and uh, according to bit D0, okay, uh, when it comes to the RAR instructions, okay, and rest of the other flag bits, they remain unchanged. Okay, that's the same thing as we saw in the previous examples of the RLC and RRC uh, instructions as well. Okay, I'm sorry, I, this would be the carry flag, okay, so that's CY, okay, better write it that way. Okay, there you go. Alright, so apart from that, we've got one more instruction that will just finish up this tutorial. Okay, and here we are with the last instruction of this tutorial that is the CMC, okay, which stands for Complement Carry Flag Bit. Now, with this instruction, we can actually modifi modify the carry flag bit. Okay, now let's say if the carry flag bit is currently zero okay and if we would execute this instruction we just write the write this uh, you know straightforward cmc so once when this instruction gets executed just for once the carry flag bit gets complemented and becomes a logic 1 level okay compared to the logic 0 level that it was and Similarly, if it if the carry flag is uh, you know currently a logic one level, okay, and you execute CMC once again, then the carry flag bit again gets complemented to go back to the logic zero level as well. So, on executing the CMC instruction just for once, whatever the carry flag bit is, it will just get complemented. So, if at present the carry flag bit is logic zero. So after CMC is executed, you would get the carry flag bit set to logic one level. Okay. And if the carry flag bit 
in the beginning is a logic one level okay and you execute the CMC statement or the command then your carry flag bit will again get complemented to the logic zero level pretty straightforward okay and this instruction like the others as we've just shown here in this tutorial well it's got no operands as well and it's just a single byte instruction and it's only the carry flag bit that gets changed or complemented depending upon the instruction okay while the rest of the flag bits remain unaffected alright so that said we would like to wind up our discussion right here and we're gonna see you next in the forthcoming tutorials with other instructions okay so till then just stay tuned and keep watching bye bye